Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock by request, where it's a review of the movie Rats, Night of Terror. And this request comes to us from fellow YouTuber KillerNerd75. Spoiler alert, this has one of the stupidest endings ever to a horror movie. Apparently sometime this year, a bunch of nuclear warheads go off, destroy all of humanity, and we're left with the rat apocalypse. So some survivalist bikers, whatever you want to call them, come, up, come across this, uh, this building, looks abandoned, they go inside to investigate, and find out that there are a bunch of dead bodies, naturally. The rest of the movie pretty much becomes an all-out war of bikers versus rats. And the rats are winning. <laughs> they seem to outsmart the bikers. Because they're supposed to be genetically engineered or some crap like that. They were made in a lab and yeah. If you can believe any of that. It's another one of those genetically engineered kind of animals that make them more intelligent than humans and more swift and craftier than humans. And Yeah. So they continuously wipe out the bikers until all that's left are two of them, one of them named Chocolate. Can you guess what Chocolate is? You said a black woman, very good. And I find that to be a little bit disturbing. And another one of the members named Video. I don't get where they come up with these names at. Are the only ones left to survive. And it seems like all hope is lost when a bunch of rats come towards them to tear them apart. But then some men in some yellow suits, not, you know, not business suits, I mean, you know, suits like radiation suits, come in and spray poison all over the rats, killing each and every one of them. Chocolate then goes to talk to one of the guys in the yellow suits, and it's revealed, you remember when I told you before about that really stupid ending? This is it. One of them takes off a gas mask to reveal that he's apparently a rat-human hybrid. And then Chocolate screams. And that's the end of our movie. Why did this movie suck? How long you got? <laughs> uh, it was dubbed, which was pretty badly obvious. The bikers are being outsmarted by rats. A lot of rat cruelty in the movie. And some of you out there may sit there and go, you know, like, well, who cares? Rats are poisonous and they're venomous and they can make you sick. But still, it's a little bit a little bit cruel to see a bunch of actual rats getting set on fire and killed and everything like that. But a lot of reasons why this movie was so stupid was these the bikers kept making the wrong decisions. One of them stood over by a window and had a bunch of rats dump on her. One of them committed suicide. Some of them, they just kept making the stupidest decisions. And one of them was trying to harm the other women. <laughs> Probably the best line in this movie is when one of the bikers was, was trying to be alone with one of the uh, female members. And uh, things don't quite go the way he hoped it would. And he says something along the lines of, This time I'm staying gay. <laughs> that right there, I was like, Wow, that just came out of nowhere, I think. Uh, but the, uh, tons of bad dubbing in this movie. Uh, it just really makes you think, you know, I was like, What were they really saying in this movie? And yeah, it's terribly god-awful, especially that stupid, stupid, stupid ending. Take off a gas mask and, hi, I'm Rat Boy. I have a rat face. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I couldn't give a rat's behind about this movie. 
I was so close of getting away from this review without saying something incredibly unfunny. <laughs> of course, I do that a lot in these reviews, but that's okay. <sighs> I didn't want to do a pun, but I did. I'm going to I'm going to punish myself by making me watch this movie all over again. <laughs> So there you guys have it, a review of Rat's Night of Terror. Special thanks to KillerNerd75 for his request. Please go check out his channel and subscribe to him as well. And tell him how much this movie sucked if you hated it too. And if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe if you have a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie with smart, intelligent animals, dumb humans, and you pretty much know the end result before it gets there, send it my way and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching, and until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.